Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Nicolas Begin and Laurie Delorme. This game was played in France in 1999. Nicolas Begin had white pieces and he started with e4. Laurie Delorme played c5, Sicilian defense. d4, c takes on d4 and now c3, Smith more a gambit sacrificing a pawn for rapid development of the pieces. Pawn takes pawn on c3, knight takes on c3, d6, bishop to c4, knight to f6. Why to move? What would you do? Nicholas Begin played e5, attacking the knight, d5. If d takes on e5, Bishop takes on f7 check, king takes bishop, queen takes queen, winning the game. And if knight from f to d7, there is more than one way to continue. One is pawn takes pawn on d6, another way is e6, and there is the wild one, bishop takes on f7. And one game went like this, king takes bishop, e6, King to g8, e takes on d7, queen takes on d7, knight to f3, g6, white castle at king's side, bishop to g7, rook to e1. This was a game Perez against Franco, played in 1991, in which player with white pieces won. Back to our game. In our game we have d5, bishop to b5 check, knight from f to d7. And now e6, f takes on e6, why to move, how would you continue? What was the purpose of this pawn sacrifice? This was the purpose. Queen to h5 check, g6, queen to e5, threatening the queen takes rook, rook to g8, queen takes on e6, again attacking the rook, rook to h8, Knight to f3, e6 attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What will you do? White played a move and black resigned. The move is knight to g5 is also winning. In our game we have knight to e5. Black resigned. If pawn takes bishop, then queen to f7 checkmate. Queen to a5 would offer the longest resistance, but white is still winning after bishop to d2. Pawn takes bishop, knight takes on d5, a discovered attack on the queen. b4, bishop takes on b4, and where is the queen going? Let's say queen goes to a4. Queen to f7 check, king to d8, bishop takes on e7 check, bishop takes bishop, queen takes, bishop check mate. And let's go back to the start of the game. c3. Smith Mora Gambit. Maybe this is something that you can try against Sicilian defense. What do you think of Gambits? What do you think of Smith Mora Gambit? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.